Today we want to talk about the NIH, the National Institutes of Health and what they found out about melatonin. Let's see what the research from a Western Health Institute, funded by the US government suggests. But first of all, who is the National Institutes of Health? The National Institutes of Health, NIH, a part of the US Department of Health and Human Services, is the nation's medical research agency making important discoveries that improve health and save lives. You can find their website at https colon slash slash www.nih.gov It consists of 27 institutes and centers. Each of them does research work on various health related topics, ranging from cancer to diabetes or Alzheimer's disease. The National Institutes of Health is located at Number 10 Center DR, Bethesda, Maryland, 20814 USA. What is the difference between the CDC, FDA, and NIH? While NIH conducts and funds basic and applied biomedical and behavioral research, CDC engages in health promotion, prevention of disease, injury, and disability, and preparedness for new health threats. The FDA ensures the safety of drugs. Now let's see what the National Institutes of Health has found out about melatonin. First, melatonin is a dietary supplement. The FDA does not regulate supplements. So it does not interfere with any FDA regulations. Melatonin is considered the first line pharmacologic therapy for the treatment of insomnia by the American Academy of Family Physicians, AAFP. It is relatively safe with a low risk of side effects. Ongoing research. This is an important one. Although there are no formal recommendations currently, clinical research is ongoing on the role of melatonin treatment for other conditions, such as cancer, metabolic disorders, cardiovascular disorders, gastrointestinal conditions, neurodegenerative disorders, mental disorders, pain syndromes, Reproductive dysfunctions. Isn't this exactly what Dr. Dr. Edinger and also Dr. Klinghart and many other experts in the field of longevity are telling us? Yes, it is. Roots of administration. Oral tablet. Oral liquid. Rectal suppository. Transdermal patch. Toxicity. The acute toxicity of melatonin, as observed in both animal and human studies, is remarkably low. Melatonin may cause minor adverse drug reactions, such as headache, insomnia, rash, gastritis, and nightmares at superphysiological doses. Researchers could not discover an LD50, lethal dose for 50% of the subjects, in animals. Melatonin is not fatal even at a dose of 800 mg per kilogram in animal studies. Thank you.